yeah, you know, we just went into the locker room at halftime and talked about what we needed to do, and I think we executed it pretty well in the second half. What are things that you know you need to do to get the focus going going into the second half? Uh, just playing better defense. You know, defense leads to offense, and that's, that's what I think that's what we did. Did you almost feel like in the first half they maybe won over it a little bit? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. I would just say that you know they were executing with a uh, with a great pace, and uh, they caught us off caught us off guard a couple times. And, uh, you know, that was the main emphasis at, um, you know, halftime. You know, they got in transition a lot. I mean, what, we had nine turnovers. Nine, 16 at, points. Yeah, 16 know. points they got. off of uh, turnovers in the first half, so. Did that pressure you had kind of put you guys off guard a little bit, or is that something you're still working on? No, I think all those turnovers were just our fault. You know, the last couple of games we've had defenses play like that, and we did a good job. And, you know, just our, we didn't come out with enough energy, I don't think. Just playing hard, you know, I got into a group quick and I uh, just went to keep it throughout the game. I know I had to do this so we can get a W and, you know, I'm not trying to lose five straight games. Katie, Katie, what specifically changed in you from half that? It seemed like you were struggling a little bit to get involved in the first half and then tore into the second half. Um, you know, I just, you know, changed my mindset and uh, I told my team at halftime, you know, I was going to be more aggressive and, um, you know, it worked out. Um, you know, I'm just I'm just out there trying to make the right play all the time. So, you know, if it's getting to the rim, you know, I could do that. Or if it's, you know, hitting the three, um, dishing it off, you know, anything that will help the team. That's that's what my main suit. Katie, how important was it to get this win after losing the game? Uh, you know, it was really important. You know, we didn't, uh, you know, we didn't want to go into a five-game losing streak right before finals. Um, so... <laughs> You know, it was a it was a main emphasis, you know, to come out here and play with energy and things like that. But you know, we've had you know a good week of practice, so I was expecting it. How much did it help to finally get the crowd back in the game at the end of the game? They were silent for most of the early part. You know, I think even with the amount of people we had in Mobile, Mobile can get really loud. You know, that always helps us to push through. Do you guys know that Katie is on the sideline when he's in such uh, hype up the crowd at all? Yeah, how, how can you miss him? It's <laughs> <laughs> my guy. Yeah, I know, like I said, emphasis last couple, you know, week, week or so in practice has been defense, uh, playing better gaps. You know, I think we did a great job of executing the, the game plan in the second half. You know, I, I know I know what they can do, and it's not a surprise to me at all. You guys got to the free throw line plenty of times. Once you started to get those calls, did it almost feel better to start driving a little more, being more aggressive when you knew you were going to get to the line a few more? Yeah, I know. I think uh, – we, we knew going into the game that they're one of the worst teams in, in fouling, or they foul at a high rate. So we knew that if we get to the line and, and, and keep on driving the ball, that we'll get to the line. Nico, you said you guys didn't come out with enough effort in the first half. Could that maybe have just naturally been a result of who you've been playing recently compared to this game? Uh, you know, I think you know a lot of stuff just goes into it. You know, early morning on Saturday, different competition, and crowds not in it. But, you know, I think none of that is an excuse. You know, I think we need to go in there, play from the jump like we did the last – you know, into the first half, going into the second half, the whole second half. Did you write a certain policy if you played with a female official in the um, I don't have no thoughts about it. She was cool. <laughs> did, did it surprise you? Was it anything different or not? Um, no, not really. I mean, she she did she did her job. She was cool. She gave me a bunch of warnings. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't. Leave, I'm just saying, it's like she didn't she didn't give me a text, so I'm happy about that. What, what were your thoughts on the text you got? It looked like it was masked and angry. Well. <laughs> just like my soccer background, so I'm used to it on my feet. And I was literally just trying to like kick it so he could like catch it. And of course he sold it and got me the tech. Thank you. Um, am I starting with a uh, um hey, you know, found a way to to get a win. It's nice to be on the other end of on the other end of it and um you know, you, you knew, and it sent it to the guys, but you knew after we'd have kind of an emotional run of games here, you know, at CU, Arkansas at home, playing a lot of games, practice this afternoon that, hey, you know, we had to find some energy tonight. And, and uh, I thought in the second half, especially the last nine minutes, you really saw our defense pick up, and um, that's how we won the game. And, 
you know, even in the first half, we have a long ways to go on that end. But what was interesting, it really wasn't our half-court defense. Is they're scoring out of our offense. Uh, they had 16 points off turnovers, and those are things you can't defend. Live ball turnovers, guys are getting out. It's hard to defend those. And so they were scoring in, 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 out of our offense. Once we got them in the half-court set, we were a little bit better tonight than we've been. Still didn't rebound the way we needed to. We lost some shooters. Uh, but I thought it was a lot better. And, and then some guys just had some great performances. I mean, you look at what Nico did tonight. I mean, he just – he just willed us. I mean, he was just like, hey, we're not losing this game. And, and uh, uh, that's what, you know, he's got an amazing heart, and that was great to see. And I thought J.D. Page uh, um, was terrific, too. I thought that those guys really got it done on both ends of the floor. What do you think was different for Karbacha tonight versus what you've seen him do? He's had double-doubles, but tonight it seemed like there was a different level. You know, he, he plays so hard. He pursues the ball. Um, their defense, too, I mean, they were just really flying around and pressuring us. And, I mean, they had nobody to, to match up, you know, with him and the way he pursues. And, you know, we maybe might get him in rotation when a shot goes up and somebody shoots a shot and the defense is in rotation. And if you don't put a body on him, he's getting hit, you know. And, and again, he just, just – played with amazing effort here tonight and, and uh, um, just got the job done for us. And so cool, He's he uh, um, he worked so hard at it. And, uh, man, just to see him make the free throws, too, the way that he did and look confident and comfortable and uh, um, really a special game by him. The Warriors and Montana State game played steps up in the second half, really come through when you guys need it. He's having a bit of a theme, makes them feel like true contenders. What can you say about yeah, that? you know, he, he is. And one thing about J.D., you know, J.D.'s a competitor, man. I mean, you know, he can be quiet at times, but he really wants to win. He's a competitor, and and uh, um, you can see that. Like, he's not afraid of the moment. Um, um, again, I, I, I thought he made some huge plays for us, obviously getting into the lane and playing patient in there. But I thought he did, I thought he was really good on the other end, too. I, I, I thought both him and Nico, um, as much as I love the way that they scored and rebounded, I thought both those guys were two of our best guys defensively. And that's how we won this game tonight. I mean, as you know, you know, you're freshman and whatever. Uh, I told Kendall he's going to add about 10 years to my life uh, here in the last two minutes of the game. Uh, but he'll, I'm not, you know, he'll learn and grow from that. But, but we got it done on the other end. Did it almost feel like early when they wanted to win tonight? I don't, I don't think so. I, I think our guys really wanted to win. I, I, I think that we were a little slow. And like I said, if, if that's, you never, it doesn't matter. It's a college basketball game. You got to be ready to go. I mean, this team here, I mean, you watch them on film. I mean, Oscar, they took Georgia down to the wire. They were ahead of Clemson in the second half. They had East Tennessee State down 18 at their place, who's one of the best teams in the SoCon. Um, so they and they got they had seven new guys. So they're trying to find themselves a little bit too. But they're aggressive and they're athletic. I thought they would be good. And, and uh, um, maybe it was because of we've had a tough stretch of games, right? We haven't had a break, and you know you go down to CU. That's an emotional game, right? And you lose, you come back. Arkansas is an emotional game. Wednesday night, you come back this afternoon, and you got to find a way, right, to to, to get going and I just think it took us a little while to get going I don't think it was that at all but you know what uh I thought at the end of that game especially from some of our upperclassmen I thought we really wanted it with that tough stretch of games was there almost a message like hey we don't play again for another eight days after today give it your all this game I think you give it your all in every game you know I, it doesn't matter if you play back to back to back uh, uh whatever it is so no, we didn't talk about that. We just tried to get better. And, and even after you win a game like this, like I tell the guys, you know, what you wouldn't accept in, in losing, you can't accept in winning. And so, hey, we won the game. Great. We should feel good about that. I want these guys to feel good about it. But it doesn't matter. Just like we lost the Arkansas game or CU, we've got to come back and we've got a long ways to go, you know, as a team uh, to get where we want to get to. And so it's not always about the wins and losses. Trust me, no one wants to win more than me and these guys, and it feels a heck of a lot better when you do. Um, but we just got to keep that growth mindset. No, I mean he, but he. I thought he played great against Arkansas. I mean he had eight assists. I thought he was really in it. I mean just you know what, Chris is a true. I, I love Chris, man. It was just it wasn't his night, man. I mean it, it was it just wasn't his night, and those things happen. And and uh, um, you know he, he turned the ball over a little bit, and, and defensively it wasn't. Really, but but I'm not. I'm not worried about Chris. Chris will come back, and Chris will be great. I mean, you know, Chris has also missed a lot of time. You know, he's come back, and tonight just wasn't his day. And other guys stepped up, but. That kid will be back, trust me. He'll be back, and I think he'll practice great this week, and, and uh, he'll come back and play well next Sunday. What was the response of your team you know, over the last couple of days of practice after that Arkansas loss? J.D. said it was a, it was a good time to get 
It did. It was. It's been good. That's the thing about this team. They've practiced well. They practiced better. And you know, people say, "Hey, does the losing get to you?" I mean, listen, everybody losing stinks. I mean, it does. But I think sometimes you can get caught up so much into that as opposed to to playing your best, just trying to get better. And I think that guys have, have are you know at least in practice had bought into that, and that's what we have to do. And they have. They've practiced.